everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two man amigos are back. That's right, the two man the two band amigos. Huh? Yeah, that's right, baby. Well, uh Two it, Amigos the, are back in this the, motherfucker, the two whatever amigos. the fuck you wanna say. Uh we have some flea market finds in the right flea thing. market finds. Uh now uh um you know, we woke up, uh, it, it's Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday, uh, by the way. We're, we're going to be doing a lot of videos today, so if you see us wearing the same shirts and shit, don't be alarmed. Yeah, don't be alarmed. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh... We've been uh, out all fucking day. Yeah, yeah, been out. We were out yesterday, we were out today, we bought a bunch of shit. We're going to be showing you guys and some multiple videos, so if you guys see us wearing the same fucking shirts, yeah, we filmed in one day, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it is Saturday! And we went to the fucking flea market today. That's right. Uh, this is episode three of Flea Market Finds. Now, flea Market Finds. Uh, now, now, Tommy, uh, me and you've been watching YouTube a lot, right? And uh, we came across uh, the NES guy, Pat the NES guy. Yeah, Pat the NES guy, and, and he has he has a whole thing on, uh, called Flea Market Madness. Yeah. And me and Tommy's been singing the song nonstop. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Do we have an alternate version of it, Tom? Yeah. How does it go? Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember? No. You know, you, you, you know. You oh yeah, you gotta get your goddamn fucking fucking. Yeah. We're name. We're, we're, our name is the Flats. We'll buy your craft every Saturday, Saturday that we could go. <laughs> you know where we're at? <laughs> Take a guess. It's flea market finds. <laughs> yeah. And not only that, but Tommy, you go, you go, you go cause we, we woke up this morning, 9 o'clock, we're like, fuck yeah, we're gonna go to the flea market, look around, baby, and all this shit, right? And we get there, and, and on, on the way there, we're like, flea market madness, yeah. right? And we get there, Tommy, would you go? I said flea market sadness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was flea market sadness. Uh, for this Saturday. Yeah, not that many tables out today. No, there wasn't. Uh, uh, we were supposed to get rain, and uh, I guess people didn't want to deal with it in the rain because we were supposed to get rain at like 2 o'clock, and guess what? There was no fucking rain. There was no rain. But, uh, you know, and, and some people were at the at a festival that we had. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a bike festival that no one cares about. Yeah, well, 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 some people in the town care oh, about I don't care bike. about Eric Bischoff motorcycles. <laughs> In fucking Shining, Wyoming, or whatever the hell it is. Cody, Wyoming. Cody, fucking, <laughs> fucking, I don't give a fuck what it's called. But Somewhere anyway, I, yeah, anyway. I, don't, I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> anyway, we, and, and, and bu barbecue butt pork <laughs> and all that shit. I don't care about none of that shit. So we went to the flea market. We, we found some things. Uh, well, actually, we only found two things at the actual flea market. Yeah. Then we went to a thing, a store that we have. It's like a flea market. It's called Peddler's Mall. I don't know if other people have that or not. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's almost like a flea yeah, market. Yeah, it's a, it's an indoor flea market. And uh, Tommy, you want to go first with what you got? Yeah, I'll go first. Where'd you find those at? Uh, Peddler's Mall. Peddler's Mall. What'd you find, Tommy? Yep, I found College Hoops, ESPN, College Hoops, two K five, two K five for the PS two, for the PlayStation two. You can see the highlighter right there. <laughs> Somebody highlighted. The Someone PS2. highlighted PlayStation two there. I'll let you see that there. <laughs> They're a fucking dingy highlighter. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. And not, not that bad scratches. There's some uh, fingerprints on it, but I don't really give a fuck about fingerprints. You can easily wipe those off. And Tommy, how much did you pay for that? 99 cents. 99 cents. 99 cents I paid for this game. 99 fucking cents. I, th I said, fuck it, it's a steal. <laughs> it says right here 99 cents. It even well. says there 99 cents, yeah. So, uh, what was this, uh, Game, GameStop? I guess so, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Back yeah. in the day, GameStop. But a 99 cents ESPN College Hoops 2K5. Tommy, what else did you pick up? I got ESPN NFL Football, also for 99 cents, even though it says right there $1.99, but I didn't pay that much. I paid oh, 99 cents. Well, well, see, not only that, but it has a price tag right here. Yeah, $12.99. Yeah, for $12.99. I was like, I ain't paying for $12.99 for it. <laughs> And they put it in one of these uh, little yellow cases, which the case is right there. You can just put it right there. But Well, you can do that now. Yeah, I can do that. And uh, it ain't that bad a shape. And no highlighter on this one. Yeah. So, yeah. ESPN uh, NFL football for 99 cents. I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll pick it up. For the PlayStation 2. For the PlayStation 2, you know. 
I'll be, I got a PS2 now, so I'm starting to buy some PS2 games. Now tell me, uh, bring up that College Hoops one more time. College Hoops there? College Hoops on eBay goes for five dollars. Uh, Tommy, you got it for a dollar. Yeah. So you know, a, and you know me, uh, Charles Reed Fowler. I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> No, so, no, everybody, everybody should know I'm a fucking cheapskate. Everybody that to, that that knows Tommy Hero Wrestle Rampage knows he's a fucking cheapskate. I'm a fucking cheapskate. Ninety nine cents, I'll pay for it. Get it right. Uh, and, and then ESPN NFL football goes on eBay for six dollars. Yes, and I got ninety nine cents because I'm a fucking cheapskate. So no, I'm a cheapskate, motherfucker. I, I I don't I don't like paying for high price shit. No, he does not. Um. Uh, now, uh, I was also at uh, Peddler's Mall as well, and I picked this up just because it was sealed and everything. Yeah. Um, I ended up finding the spectacular legacy of the American Wrestling Association, the AWA. Now, this is sealed, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's sealed. Uh, security device enclosed. It's completely sealed, uh, as you guys can tell. And... Um, uh, Tommy, what'd you say about this TV? Oh, you want me to do the Vern Gagne yeah, 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 thing? Yeah. You know, that thing been good to me for a long time. Yeah. Uh, you know, every, here are the AWA. Some people you may have heard of, some you may have forgotten, till now. You know, a lot of people say it was good, a lot of people say it was great. And to Vern, he says it was spectacular, but to me, it was boring. <laughs> it was boring, and that's what AWA kind of was. He, Honestly, they did have some good stars, of course, like you guys can tell on the front. You know, you got the you got the Rocker, well, the Midnight Rockers, Kurt Hennig, Bobby Heenan, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Sergeant Slaughter, Slaughter, Jerry Lawler, and uh, Gene Urkel. Mean Gene. Mean but, Gene. Uh, but, you know, uh, honestly, AWA was kind of boring. But, yeah. this is the thing, I picked it up because going on eBay sealed, this, um, going on eBay sealed like it is, $20, yeah. right? I only got it for four bucks. Yeah, four dollars. Four bucks, brand new sealed at Peddler's Mall, so I had to pick it up. Yeah, fuck, it's steel. It's a steal. Uh, now, I do have AWA, so uh, anybody that wants AWA sealed, let me know. We could probably work out a trade, whatever, yeah. okay? Just to let you guys know that. Now, uh, while we were at the real flea market, I picked up two things. Tommy didn't really find anything. No, I didn't see shit. Uh, but Tommy... <laughs> Remember that guy? He had, he had the glass case, right? Yeah. And he had he had the Nintendo game in there. Yeah. And, and it was Ducktales. Oh yeah, Ducktales. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What what I do? <laughs> All right. Joey over here asked this guy, "How much for Ducktales over here? Twenty dollars." <laughs> he just looked at him and walked off. <laughs> I ain't paying twenty dollars. Well, twenty bucks. I ain't paying fucking twenty bucks. No, we're not a fucking flea market. We're in a fucking flea market to save money, not fucking mooch money. Here. <laughs> but one thing I did find, we were uh, looking around. I ended up finding this. It is for the Wii. It is Wii Sports. Wii Sports. And yes, it, it did come in the, in this case, by the way. Yeah. Um, and you open it up. Uh, not bad. Uh, it was kind of scratched, but I ended up getting it clean. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I only paid a dollar to get it cleaned. Uh, not a bad deal for it. Uh, you know, I was looking at it. And Austin, my friend Austin, you said you said you wanted to play this, pal. Well, guess what? You need to come over and we'll go and fucking play some uh, Wii Sports. Uh, so, um, uh, he, go, he goes, hey, man, I've I, 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 I seen this game. And, and uh, uh, by the way, this goes on eBay for ten bucks. Yeah. Um, now uh, I I bought it at the flea market from a guy. I go, hey, how, how much is the Wii Sports? He goes, two dollars. <laughs> I was like, all right. Yeah, two <laughs> bucks. I, I paid the two bucks. Uh, you know, it was kind of scratched. I did get it cleaned, um, and uh, so uh, pretty much my total my total investment of it was three dollars. Yeah. But, but uh, the cleaning don't really count because I I got the disc. So, Austin, you need to come over so we can play this, pal. Uh, but uh, the one thing. Now, to Tommy found it. Yeah. Yeah, but I found this. Tommy found this, and I was shocked that it was there, first of all. Um, th th this, this, this was uh, mind-blowing that it was even there. Because uh, you, don't, you don't find these at flea markets. Yeah, you don't find these at flea markets. It is a 
proudly presents, well, RF Video proudly presents Shoot Interview with Hayabusa. Um, it says right here, uh, direct from the land of the rising sun comes one of the most influential wrestlers in the last decade, a mass legend who, despite being wheelchair bound, could possibly rise up like the phoenix he portrayed in FMW during the 1990s. A star of Mexico, Puerto Rico, and America, he wrestled in ECW Heat Wave 98 pay-per-view. A high-flying innovator of the Phoenix Splash and Falcon Arrow, and an inspiration for young high flyers of wrestling today. His career tragically cut short on October 22, 2001, when everything changed, when the man uh, was tragically paralyzed during a match, and it lists a lot of his accomplishments. Uh, you know, Brass Knuckles Tag Team Champion, World uh, World Champion, uh, E W uh, W E W World Heavyweight Champion, all sorts of championships, and uh, he sits down with Aura Video for a historical moving shoot interview. Wrestling fans, this this is Hayabusa, and we are proud to present a very special RF video shoot of Hayabusa. Um, you know, open it up, and uh, it's pretty much just plain disc but uh it is fucking clean it looks brand new like there's no scratches no fingerprints no nothing on this um <clears throat> and uh tommy found it yeah and and me and tommy's deal is if you find it you want it you get it but he goes bro you're a big fan of fmw one of your favorite wrestlers from fmw is hayabusa so he ended up saying hey if you want it you buy it so I got it, <clears throat> but this is the thing: the guy, the guy that the guy that we found it at, at his booth, he wasn't there. Like yeah. I, I, I didn't know who to pay. Now, honestly, if me and Tommy really wanted to, I could have just grabbed it and walked out of the, walked out because it, it was the inside of yeah. the flea market because there's an inside and an outside. I could have just grabbed this and walked out. I could have been a real dick and just grabbed it and walked out because there was nobody there. Like nobody would even have noticed either. But. I ended up asking some of the the ones that are always there. I was like, "Who owns the booth over there?" And he, go, and he goes, "Well, he ain't here, but his uh, his niece and his sister is working the uh, the the snacks, uh, the the little uh, snack booth. Yeah, the little snack booth over there." And I was like, "Okay." So I went over there and I asked. I was like, uh, "How much? For, uh, you know, so and so's name or whatever." I was like, um, "She goes, yeah, I know who he is. He's my he's my uh, I, I'm his niece." And I go, "Okay." Um, how much for this DVD? Two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right off the bat. Right off the bat, two bucks. Uh, the RF. Now I didn't find this one on eBay, but uh, a lot of their RF video shoot interviews are going for ten bucks. I got this for two dollars. Yeah. So a very good fucking deal for it. Um, one of my favorite wrestlers from FMW, Hayabusa. Now the only thing I'm afraid of is I don't think he speaks English. So I might have to be reading subtitles to this, but it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, plus, Hayabusa passed away two years ago, uh, one of my favorite FMW wrestlers of all time. So, what we got, Flea Market, as you guys can tell, what we got. Yep. If we if we bought everything uh, by eBay prices, on eBay, we'd be spending $51. Yeah. Today. On all this, we spent ten dollars. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Uh, that's a savings of forty-one dollars. I know T and Coupon. Will yeah, T and Coupon will give us a thumbs up. Anything we save here. That's right. Uh, so uh, th that that that's why I can't stress enough to go to your uh, go to your pawn shops, your flea markets, your uh, your uh, secondhand stores. Yeah. Uh, go to those places because uh, you'll never know what you're going to find there. Until you go there, yeah. you know, games, DVDs, all sorts of different things. Of course, this is the stuff we pick up most of the time. Yeah. But um, go to your flea markets because you'll never know what you're going to find there. Uh, no doubt about it. Yeah, always go to your flea markets, your swap meets, your your discount stores, all those places. You never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to find. So with that being said, that was the end of... Flea Market Finds, Episode Flea Market 3. Flea Market Finds, baby, Episode fucking 3. That's right. 
Uh, if you uh, and you guys have been watching the flea market, uh, videos. yeah, we really appreciate it, even though we don't go there very often. Yeah, yeah, we don't go there because uh, we're kind of, we're busy people. <laughs> you got to do a little Jimmy Garden. Yeah. But also, uh, make sure that you guys hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. And don't forget to, if you guys want to send something to the P.O. Box, you guys can anytime you guys want to. For Mailbag Monday! Yes. As we go and we go check the P.O. Box on Monday, see if there's anything in it. If there's something in it, we do a video on it. That's as simple as that. Yes. Anything, uh, DVDs, action figures, artwork, whatever. Whatever you want to send. A letter for crying yeah. out loud, a postcard, whatever you guys want to send us, you guys can. Don't forget you guys can do that. Joseph Flat F L A T T at P.O. Box 6005 in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, 42702. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't.